Hi, I'm Jill, Curator of Anthropology and Exhibitions here at the Boonshoft Museum of Discovery in Dayton, Ohio. Today, I'm going to talk to you about fossils. Fossils and math. These two things may seem like they don't go together, but I promise you that they do. Side note, math was my favorite subject in school, and I love to add it in whatever I can. Get it? Add it in. Anyway, I think I'm funny. That's fine. So, fossils. Let's talk about ammonites. These are fossil ammonites. What is an ammonite? An ammonite is an extinct sea creature. They had tentacles that stuck out of their shells here. So you can think about them as an octopus inside of a spiral shell. They went extinct about the same time as the dinosaurs 65 million years ago. So what do ammonites have to do with math? Well, we like to call ammonites the Fibonacci fossil because they are a natural representation of a perfect spiral. So if you map out the Fibonacci sequence, you get that perfect spiral. What is the Fibonacci sequence? Well, it's a series of numbers where the next number is the sum of the previous two. So we're going to use this sequence along with a piece of paper, a ruler, and a pencil to draw a perfect spiral. And you can do this at home. Let's go. All right, so let's review. The Fibonacci sequence is a series of numbers where the number in the sequence is the sum of the previous two. Let me show you what that means. Here is the Fibonacci sequence. We start with zero and then add one. Zero plus one is one. One plus one is two. One plus two is three. Two plus three is five and so on. So what does it look like when we actually map this sequence out? Let's start with our zero point right here. We're gonna draw a box one by one. I have a template here, but you can do this using a ruler or a piece of graph paper. So we have our first box again, one by one. Then we're gonna do another box, one by one. Again, one plus one is two. So what they'll do with our next box is two by two. Then three by three, five by five, eight by eight, if you have a big enough sheet of paper, you can keep going. 13 by 13, 21 by 21, it goes on into infinity. So make it as big as you can. Now we're gonna connect the boxes with an arc or a curved line to make our spiral. So start at that zero and curve your line. Keep curving it, curve it, curve it here. Here we go. And here we go, bam. So you can see how this is starting to make that spiral shape, which matches our ammonite. See this perfect spiral? Here. Can you think of any other spirals in nature? Believe it or not, this shape occurs quite a bit. I want you to look around your backyard and see if you can find any cool Fibonacci spirals. I hope you had a great time learning about fossils and math. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I'll see you next time. Bye.